what is going on my friends so today today is a special day for me today I celebrate three years completely sober not one drop of alcohol three years that's right I'm proud of myself I am it wasn't easy it wasn't at all but I did it without going to jail I did it without any rehab I did it without one single AA meeting. So I give myself credit for that. But I will say this. There was a lot of temptation. And there was a lot of weak moments where I was just about to cave in. But thankfully, I had God on my side and I fought through it. So I made it through. And I'm here today to celebrate my three-year anniversary. Now, um, this next part of this video is going to be hard for some of you guys to watch. But then again, it uh, it needs to be watched by some people. Some people need to see this. So uh, I'm gonna uh, give you guys six reasons why I am happily sober, why I should stay sober, and why I no longer drink. All right. So. <sighs> Reason number one. Let's see. Reason number one. Um, poor decisions. I um, I no longer drink because I make poor decisions. So back when I was drinking, I made a lot of bad decisions that hurt some of my relatives, some of my close friends. I made a lot of decisions that led me to lose some of my good friends, and I've made a lot of bad decisions that wounded my ass up in jail. So number one, poor decisions. Number two, let's say finances, money. Um, ever since I quit drinking, I've saved a lot of money. Back when I was drinking, I was going through a 12-pack Monday through Thursday, Friday a 12-pack, Saturday a 12-pack plus more. So you add that up plus a few bar tabs a month for one year, and then you add it up for three years, you're looking at about, I'd say roughly right around eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. So I've saved myself about twelve grand. So that's reason number two. Reason number three why I'm thankful for sobriety. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's say my license. Hell yeah. Back when I was drinking... It, uh, I made a lot of bad decisions, and I've done, done a lot of dumb shit. DUIs, reckless driving, hit and runs, you name it. Lost my license a couple good times. Uh, took a lot to get them back, but thanks to sobriety and Jesus, I got my li license back. And uh, Besides the fact I'm on an SR-22, and I had to pay $10,000, well, every month, $10,000 altogether, but uh, I got to pay an insurance company a bunch of money, but... Reason number three why I'm thankful for sobriety is my license. Reason number four. How about my health? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Back when I was drinking, I was drinking a lot. And, um, man, I tell you what, that's bad on your liver. It's bad on your kidneys. And, um, I tell you, I was fucking chain smoking when I was drunk, too, so... There you go. Number four, thankful sobriety, better health. All right, four down, two to go. Um, number five, how about my safety? Um, back when I was drinking, I made a lot of bad decisions, but I also did a lot of very dangerous things. Yeah, a lot of stupid stuff. Drinking and driving, did that a lot. And um, got in fights, just did a lot of very, very bad things that put me in very, very bad positions, and I got hurt a lot, and it's very surprising I'm not dead or haven't killed anyone else. So, there's number five. All right, one left, my last, but uh, let me tell you, this one, this one is the most important. It's the last one, but the most important. The last reason today why I'm thankful for sobriety 
and why I no longer drink, it's my children. My kids come before anything else in this world, but when I was drinking, they wasn't. They were definitely not in first place, the alcohol was. I would go out on the weekends, get drunk every weekend. I would just wouldn't care about spending time with them because I was more worried about getting hammered and having fun. And I was selfish, without a doubt selfish. So I can say this much, since I've gotten sober and since I don't drink anymore, I take almost all of my time and give it to them instead of drinking and partying with my friends and running around being an alcoholic fucking idiot. So, number six, I thank sobriety for giving me the opportunity to be a better father. That means more to me than anything in this world because my kids are my life. So there you go, guys. Six good reasons why I should no longer drink, why I'm happy to be sober. And uh, I think a few of you guys could uh, take some pointers on that because some people just don't know how to fucking stop. And they should. And some people, unlike myself, some people can socially drink. I can't socially drink. I was a fucking alcoholic. All it takes is one sip for me. One beer, and next thing you know, I'm blacked out, going down the highway on a dirt bike at 3 a.m. in the morning, half naked. And yes, that is a true story, which is why I no longer drink. <sighs> I'm really surprised I did not get arrested that night. Flew right down Route 50, hammered drunk. All I had on was my boxers on my dirt bike at 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, woke up the next morning. I was in a total blackout. Woke up the next morning on my friend's couch like, what the fuck? How, how did I get here? Where are my clothes? And why is my dirt bike outside? It's crazy, and that was just the tip of the iceberg of some of the dumb shit I've done while I was drunk and while I was drinking. So, I thank Jesus, I thank my strong will and myself and my family and all my friends and everyone who supported me and my kids most of all. So, there you go guys, three years sober, and it's been the best three years of my life.